What is going on guys? Pat on the shop once again and tonight we're talking about quench, squish, piston to head clearance with your flat top pistons. Let's dig a little deeper into this and help you guys understand what's going on. Let's check it out. Have you guys ever wondered why uh, the an old you know eight and a half to one small block Chevy somehow detonates and rattles going up a hill uh, even though it has no compression? A lot of that has to do with quench and flame travel and combustion chamber and that's what we're going to talk about tonight and why quench is so important uh, for not just making more power but making more power with less ignition timing and less detonation. So first of all let's talk about what quench is and where it is. You guys might have heard the term quench before or squish. But to give you an idea, if, you, if you're unfamiliar, it's the area between the deck of the head and the top of the piston. As you can see right here, that's your quench area. So when the piston comes up, a top dead center, the area between the flat top of the, the flat part of the piston and this area right here, not in the chamber, but this area right here, that's your quench area. Some people would call this the quench pad and the top of the head there, and that's, that's your quench area. And, and why is that important, you might ask? Well, let me explain that to you. So I put a spark plug here to help you kind of visualize uh, the chamber uh, versus the quench area. So the piston is coming up on the compression stroke and the idea is to burn as much as possible in the combustion chamber because that's where the spark plug is. That's where the magic happens, um, if, if you will. So when you're, the piston is coming up, you want to get the, the, the quench as tight as possible because you want to push the air fuel mixture in this area because remember they're going to be air fuel mixture all over all over the cylinder uh, inside or sorry all inside the cylinder because it the the piston just pulled it in now it's coming back around and squishing it and you want to squeeze the air fuel mixture that's in this area into the combustion chamber because that is where it's being ignited that's where the spark plug is so the more you can squish this and the tighter you can squish it the faster it's going to try to push itself into this area where it's going to be ignited so it's not going to burn over here so why would we want it there and that's really the general idea of quench is to get the the air fuel mixture where we want it and if in, in the push it in a way that it's actually going to promote swirl in the combustion chamber and burn uh, more efficiently and bore, burn more complete so basically the calculation for the quench area is you take your deck clearance which is the height or the the, the deck height so that how far the piston is down into the bore at top dead center you take the deck height plus the compressed head gasket thickness and that gives you your quench area so the same thing when you're using a flat top piston the, the quench area is the same thing as the piston to head clearance because it's a flat top piston, the, the, the chamber's open, so really the only spot the piston can hit is this flat part of the deck, which is your quench area. So the quench and the um, piston to head clearance on a flat top piston is the same. So now that we know what quench is and where it is, how much do we need, or should I say, how little do we need for clearance and for, for our quench area? Because uh, like I said, the quench and the piston head clearance is the same thing. Uh, so there's a few different factors on figuring out how little piston to head clearance or quench you can get away with. Um, the biggest factor in that is your connecting rod material. Uh, we're using a steel rod, and most of you guys are using steel rods. Uh, you really don't get into aluminum rods into, in, unless you're getting into a racing engine and a high revving engine. Uh, in that case, with an aluminum rod, you want to run more clearance uh, from piston to head or your quench area. Not because of the quench, but because of the piston to head clearance. Because of the, the aluminum expansion of the rod, the rod will become longer with heat, and you really, uh, you know, as much as a tight quench is nice, you don't want to run the risk of actually hitting the piston against the deck of the head and having that piston to head 
uh, contact is not a good thing. Another factor uh, when determining um, your quench or your uh, piston the head clearance is your material of your piston. Uh, this is a hyper eutectic piston so it will go in the bore the cylinder bore fairly tight so you won't have a lot of rock in the piston because if the if the piston head or the piston is rocking in the bore there's a higher chance that you're going to have um, that contact between the piston and the head. So a little more clearance is a, probably a good idea. And oftentimes uh, with a forged piston, I won't go as tight as I would willingly go with a hyper piston just because a forged piston is often uh, has a lot more uh, piston to wall clearance than you would find on a hyper eutectic piston. So let's pretend like we're trying to figure out our, like our, um, we're not actually going to pretend. This is actually for our YouTube 355 over here. If you guys aren't following the series, it's the Help Me Build It series I'm doing where you guys make the decisions on a small block 355 that we're building. Uh, if you guys are uh, wondering, we're going with the Summit Racing Roller Cam for the engine, and that was the last vote. I just haven't had the video out yet. So we are going with the Summit Racing Roller Cam for that. But let's, take our measurements from that engine build and figure out our quench area or our piston to head clearance and see what we think. So the deck clearance on that engine using our, um, our deck bridge, as I've shown in the other video, uh, we're gonna ha we have 9,007 inch. And this is really critical, you gotta rock the piston. If you, it's easy with a flat top, you can get right on the center line of the, um, the piston, but You'll find with a hyper piston, if it's fitted tight, you're not going to have a lot of rock. Uh, you'll, but uh, a loose fitting piston, you can see up to 10 thou rock in the piston. But the um, the deck the deck clearance or deck height we have on that on our U255 is 9,007 inch. The compressed head gasket thickness is an advertise of 28,007 inch. Uh, we're going to verify that and uh, it might end up being a little bit more than that so which I find these ones often do but we're going to pretend like right now because that's what they advertise that so we have 9,000 deck height 28,000 um, compressed head gasket thickness that gives us 37,000 of an inch um, piston to head clearance so our quench area so that area right there with our with our deck clearance and our Compressed head gasket thickness. This area from here to here, our quench is 37 thou. So, is that a lot? Is that an allowable amount? Well, typically, 36 to 45 thou on a small block Chevy uh, when running a steel rod in a hyper piston it was what is what I'm willing to do and a lot of engine builders will go down to 36 thou. Before someone says it, I know some guys will run less than that. So you, I, the circle track guys, you, some of you crazy buggers will run uh, even 10 thou less than that. It, but that is just getting way too tight and these guys are really revving these engines and running less than that. This is about as tight as I'll go. So we're getting pretty close to that at 37 thou. And honestly won't recommend it to the novice engine builder because when you're getting that tight there's a lot of extra checking you have to do so if you stick closer to the 40 to maybe 45 thousandths of an inch uh, quench or piss in the head clearance that gives you a little more room a little more buffer room just in case uh, your decks aren't completely squared up uh, every measurement is crucial into calculating your piss in the head clearance um, because you don't want it to be too tight. You're better off a little loose, not having as tight a quench and not having to worry about your piston contacting your head. All right, so how is the quench adjusted? So how do you make changes to your quench? So the, the easiest way to do it is with your head gasket thickness if the engine is already together. Uh, and you can go a thinner or a thicker head gasket to get the quench area where you want if you already have the deck clearance um, or your your um, deck height already established but oftentimes guys will get their decks uh, zeroed or a zero deck surface so on a small Chevy you'd get it decked down to nine inches uh, and then your piston will sit right flat with the deck surface and that would be a deck 
height of zero. So the piston, it's all flat. Um, but you also got to remember the piston comes into play there as well. Uh, if you're getting a rebuilder grade piston, oftentimes they'll sit lower in the bore. So you could have a rebuilder grade piston that sits almost 20 thou lower in the bore. And then if you don't have a decked uh, block, you could end up with a piston that's like 45 thousandths of an inch into the bore, which is already where you want it to be. But then you got to add the head gasket on top of that. So you could end up with 60 or 70 plus thousandths of an inch piston to head clearance and quench which is not good, you know, that's when you're running into those detonation issues like the old engines did, um, and just not a well-performing engine. Uh, so it's oftentimes really a good idea to get the block decked and make sure your um, piston compression height is right to get it where you want it, not down into the bore. So a zero deck is a good idea because when you're running a standard thickness head gasket, we're running a 28,000 head gasket on our small block Chevy here, but uh, standard thickness is 10,000 more than that. So that, uh, say like a 40,000 head gasket with a zero deck puts you in the perfect territory for uh, um, a steel rotted small block Chevy. So if you have a zero deck with a 40,000 head gasket, you run a standard thickness like that, it gives you that perfect piston head clearance and that perfect quench. So there you go guys, I hope you learned a little bit about quench today and why it's important and how a tight quench can help promote a better running, more powerful engine with less ignition timing and less chance of detonation. But at the same time, we don't want too tight a quench because quench and piston to head clearance on a flat top piston is the same thing. So you gotta get everything, it's about checking things and getting everything within a proper safe range. Uh, next video we're going to be talking about uh, the another issue when running a pop-up or a dome piston with the, the issue of piston to head clearance inside the chamber and how we're going to be running these pop-up pistons with the Vortec heads and what modifications I had to do to these heads to make that work. So take a look uh, and check that video when I post it. It might be interested or interesting for you guys that are wanting to run a higher compression Vortec engine without using a flat top piston. And this is the engine, this engine we will be dynoing, so it's going to be pretty interesting to see. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you guys checking my videos out, and I'll see you next time.